Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to divide a circle into even sections using a compass uh, so that we can have some really precise mandalas. Okay, let's go! And we have um, just a regular compass and um, a ruler. I like to use clear rulers just because I could like to see what's going on underneath and a pencil. Um, I'm going to draw a little dot in the middle just so I can see the guide better, although the pin in the compass, you know, makes a mark um, if you don't want to actually draw a dot. And, uh, you know, just set the compass to the size of circle that you want. Kind of hard to see the lines here with the light shining on, hopefully. Um, you can see what's going on most of the time. Now the first thing you do is make a straight line down using the, the mark that uh, you made in the center as your guide. And that's all you'll need to do with the ruler to start out. Then you take your compass to make your guidelines to, to divide the first section. Um, and you'll want to make your compass a little bit wider than half of your circle. And that's you know where you first made your point, the center of the circle. And it just needs to be wider than half. Uh, my compass, I made a pretty big circle, so that's as far out as my compass goes, but it'll be good enough. And we'll make a little section on one side. You can draw it all the way across if you want. It's the same thing. I just didn't like to draw through my um, circle. And then at the edge of the other side, mark it across. It's kind of hard to see that X there, but you can see on the other side what's going on. And um, now those are the two points that's going to divide your circle evenly. And you can use those two points plus the center mark to make sure that it's all lined up. There, now we have our first section done. Now we need to divide the um, rest of the circle up. So using the same concept of you know half of the space, um, we'll use half of the space of one section, or in this case, one quarter of the circle that we want to, to divide up. Um, so we're going to make our compass just past half of that section. Same concept, just past half. It just needs to be a little bit more than half. And we're going to just draw the little mark there. And then the other side of what we want to divide and make the other part of our X. And that's our guide to make our straight line across using, again, our center mark to divide that section evenly. And we will do the exact same thing in the other quarter, um, which then will divide the circle evenly into eight. So then we use the same concept to divide all the other spaces as far down really as you want to go. Um, although the smaller sections get the kind of more difficult it is to, you know, to divide them in half. Um, so, you know, making the, uh, the compass just a little bit more than half of the section we want to divide. There we go. And here, since my uh, circle is so big, my compass goes outside of the paper. So. We'll just do it on the inside. Um, it doesn't really matter where they go. You just, you know, usually don't want to make marks inside your circle. Um, and, and speaking of that, I would make my marks a lot lighter than I'm doing now. I'm making everything really dark so that you could see it on the video. Um, but just so it's easier to erase from your mandala once you start to make it, um, you want to make the, the guidelines pretty light. So just dividing up these sections, and again, you'd only have to do the four because obviously the other four get divided in half when you when you use your ruler to um, to divide it up using the center line and your mark. Just make your lines for all the sections. And depending on how precise you want your mandala, you can divide each section up further now that you know how. Um, so I hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you next time. Bye.